Hi, my name is Grace Shalom Hopkins and I'm here with the baby brother drum carter and we are going to card this alpaca fleece. This is a Wakaya alpaca. She is named Charlotte and she was a show winner. Because she was a show alpaca, I have chosen not to wash her before we card her. The only thing I've done is I have gone through and I have hand fluffed the locks to try and get that initial vegetable matter out. And here I'm picking out some big hunks. Right, so what we're going to do is we are going to do something a little different than you probably expect. So rather than going underneath the liquor drum, we are going to go over the top. So we're going to lay this down and go. This is called painting if you're familiar with art bats. Um, again, we are just manually picking out the biggest hunks of vegetable matter. I'm trying to be fairly careful and make sure that I get them facing mostly the correct direction, but I am not stressing about it. Now, the reason we paint them on is because when we send them underneath this little drum, the liquor drum, they encounter a lot of trauma. Because the liquor drum's job is to try and straighten them out. When you try and force people or fiber to do things that they are not motivated to do, it gets painful. Things break. So, to make this a gentle experience for the fiber and prevent neps and breakage, which makes spinning a much more pleasant experience for you, we are going to just completely bypass that. So, this drum is pretty full. And you can see how a lot of those lumpy bumpies are still there, but a lot smoother than some of you would have imagined. So we're going to take my handy dandy knitting needle and go ahead and remove this. It should come off fairly easily. If you're having trouble, just take your brush and go. This is a faux boar bristle brush. It is a hard one to say. Boar bristle brush from Conair. Super cheap. It's got a wooden back so it's sturdy and it'll do the job. We've removed this bat and almost all of those fibers are going the same direction. That looks lovely. So we're going to send it through the bottom since it's so well carded. And now if it still looked pretty lumpy bumpy, I would send it through the top. You know what? Just to be safe, let's send it through the top one more time so you can see how we would do that. We divide it out. We draft it into a handful. You want the staple length to be mostly the same. So then now we're just going to run that handful down the drum. Hold it far enough back that you have most of the fiber in your hand but it also gently, slowly leaves your fingers. Go ahead and continue to pick out any large vegetable matter that has still managed to remain. Because as we all know, alpaca really likes to stay dirty. Really likes to stay dirty. Okay, so I finished feeding it all back on. So we're gonna again remove this bat at the metal piece at the top. And as usual, if you find vegetable matter, don't skip over it, pick it out where you see it. Alright. So now you'll see that the bat is even more aligned than it was before. So now we're going to put it through the liquor drum. You might find that it is perfect at this stage. If it is perfect at this stage, awesome. Don't even put it through the liquor drum. Just go with it. But if you're carding alpaca and not some other kind of fleece, um, unless your alpaca was just profoundly clean, you're probably going to have just a little bit more vegetable matter. Like at this point, my fibers are aligned and I could spin from that happily, but I want to kick out just a little bit more of that vegetable matter. <laughs> so I'm just going to put it right through. Another thing that the liquor drum is going to do is it's going to pick up some of those shorter fibers and cull those out for you. And it gives you yet another opportunity to pick out the big chunks. Now we've finished 
our third pass and the first time underneath the liquor drum. And this, I predict, will be our last. Now, just like every other type of processing, um, alpaca is going to maintain just a little bit of vegetable matter until spinning. It's just how it goes. You will find that this is surprisingly well aligned, almost no nepping. You can spread it out and you can see that. Very little nepping. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got to know the baby brother drum carter a lot better. I hope you will try out this over the top method of carting on any type of fleece, not just alpaca, and see the difference. Um, if you would like to see more of the brother drum carter drum carters, like the little brother motorized drum carter, or the brother standard drum carter, check out the other videos, or go and follow the link to the brother drum carter webpage that is below. Bye!